Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a very long time, it's been a minute, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of filming for everyone. So I hope everyone is healthy, safe, and doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I style my hair. So we're going strong since 2017 with the Big Chop. I found out that I really loved it and just decided to stick with it. So I want to show you guys an updated styling routine that I do, how I get my curls really nice and defined, how I style my edges. So I'm really excited to bring you guys an updated video for 2022 to show you guys how I style my hair. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, I did want to show you guys some really nice eyeglasses that I've been wearing lately. These are from Sojo's. I wear them everywhere. They're reading glasses and they're super cute. This is in the style Dynamite and I've also got some other favorites as well in the style Crush. These are absolutely gorgeous. These are the style Revive. This is Flicker. And my second favorite after Dynamite is Sour. These are super cute. So if you're in the market for some really stylish reading glasses or just some glasses that will look cute on at any time, check out Sojo's and I will have a description of the coupon code in the box down below. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, so I'm showing you guys this in real time. Obviously I went from very cute to very basic. So um, I always do my makeup after I do my hair because I like for my products to sit in, I like for my edges to sit, so you will see. So my hair is obviously all frizzy right now. It's very wet, so I make sure that my hair is soaking wet when I start. Whether I shower and completely drench it in water or just like put my head under the sink, I always make sure that my hair is wet at the first thing that I do. So first I use this Curls Aloe and Blueberry Juice. It is a curl moisturizer and it's my favorite. I really love curl products. It just makes my hair really soft and um, the curl's really, really nice. So I use that as like the first step. So I just spray a little bit into my hand. So I just rub it in between my hands like that and then just go all throughout my hair. And I'll go like this on the sides. Spray more. And in the back, I do this as well and then I just kind of massage it in a little bit and I swear like this first step already makes my curls look so much better like it controls frizz it makes it really soft I really love this stuff then the next step I use this lot of body with coconut and shea oils it's the wrap me foaming mousse and on here it says it creates soft wraps defines curls and tames frizzes for all hair types this makes my curls literally frizz free, makes them really, really nice and spirally, really nice and tight. I just love how this combination works. So first, of course, I start with this and then I just put a little bit of this on my hand. And also I got this from, you can get it at Ulta or Sally's or any beauty supply store. I got this from Sally's online. It was really hard to find. It was out of stock for a little while. But it looks just like this in my hand. I move this between my fingers as well and I just rub this in like I do with the first product. Some people like to use sponges on their curls. I've never done that before because my products make my hair literally look like I took so much more time on them than I did. So I just massage that in and I let this sit for a little while too, um, maybe like a minute or so so that they can kind of like, you know, mold together. And then I have one more product that I use. And for the last step, I use Curls Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Cream. So this says that this curl defining and moisturizing cream formulated with certified organic sweet almond milk, shea butter, and aloe leaf juice is proven to fight frizz, restore lost sheen, and encourage hair growth. And this just makes my hair very, very soft. It makes all the curls just look amazing. I just feel like all these three together just work perfectly. I mean, on their own is great. Like if I'm going to work, I'll just put this in my hair and just like restyle it because it's literally like a second day moisturizer. But when I really want my curls to look really defined, I use all three of them and they all smell amazing. And as you can see, I'm at the bottom of it over here. So I use this one quite a bit. Massage this one in and just go over all the spots that I've already done before. And it just makes them that much softer, especially after using mousse sometimes. Um, I feel like putting a curl cream on top makes my hair a lot softer, just in case it loses any softness from the mousse. And after letting them sit in for a while, they look 
even better. All right, so on to edges. So I use Hicks Edge Control. Um, a lot of people use this one. It's one of my favorites, and I've used it for a very long time. So I get mine from Sally's, but of course you can get it from any beauty supply store. Um, there's just a Sally's across the street, so I happen to go there. But um, this one really holds on to my edges. It really makes the really nice swirly shape that I do um, that a lot of people ask me about. So that's what this video was intended to be, um, was an edge video. But I was like, I'll just go ahead and do my whole hair routine because I haven't done one in a very long time. And I've had short hair now since 2017. So um, I'm getting some of this out of the container. I just put it on the back of one of my hands. Okay, so my camera decided to die on me. So I went ahead and did one side and I'm going to show you again how I do it on the opposite side. So, um, same thing, I pull up into my hair so I can do the wave pattern and then I begin to, let me move my hair. I begin to smooth down on top of the hair that's pulled back. And then I do it again right here, a little lower. And this bottom part, kind of like sideburns. Then I just take a brush and brush over the top. And then especially if you use Hicks, you want to rub until it's kind of dry, not completely. Um, I, will, I will tie it down, obviously, but rubbing over it really does help as well, too. At least to keep the hair as straight as possible. And then I take the end of my rat tail comb and I begin to kind of make parts in it, just like I did on this side. And then I literally just brush it out first. So it's straight right now. Smooth over it. And then for the fun part with my comb, I begin to create the little wave pattern that I do in the front. So I'll pull down this side and then pull up on this side. But at the end, I kind of go like back down like I'm doing like a wave and then I go right underneath that for another one smooth that down more and that's what the front looks like so this is what everything looks like after I'm done and what I do is take just a plain scarf um, that I got from a beauty supply store and I fold it down so that I can cover my edges to set. And that's why I like to do my hair before my makeup so that I give my hair the time to set into its style. Because it does take a little while and I live in the south, it's humid and if I were to go outside just like this, it would just curl right back up. So I let this sit while my makeup is on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my makeup and show y'all what the final look looks like. Okay, so this is the final look with a full face of makeup and my hair done. I really love how the edges like really frame my face and how the curls look. It just looks really put together. Um, I feel like the edges really make the look extremely put together and then the curls, of course, look perfect as always. So I will leave all the products down in the description bar down below that I've used. I'm going to finish off my look with my Sojo's glasses in the style Dynamite. I'm just running some errands today. These are reading glasses, but I think they're super, super cute. So I'll just be running around in these glasses today. So as I mentioned earlier, I will be having a coupon code for you guys in the description bar down below for these really cute Sojo frames. 
So thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave some comments. If you have any questions, reach out to me. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Please follow me on other social media sites as well too so we can connect. And as always, I hope that you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.